Hello Black Clover fans, welcome back to another chapter. Today we are diving deep into the heart of Black Clover, chapter 360. And oh boy, Yuna has a new ability, the final wind god weapon, and may have even surpassed Lucius. At least if Lucius doesn't have a second transformation, which he most likely does. We also got a very strange revelation that may indicate that Asta is not of this world. Asta has apparently changed all the timelines so that no real timeline exists anymore and everything is unpredictable. A clue that someone might have intentionally manipulated the timeline with the help of Asta. Maybe Astaroth. But before we get into the meat of the chapter, I have a question for you. What do you think is the real reason behind the anomalies and Lucius' foresight? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's see who gets it right. Chapter 360 opens with a face-off between Noel and Asia, a confrontation that's been brewing for quite some time. Noel, the youngest of the Silva family, has always been underestimated, but this chapter proves, once and for all, that she's a force to be reckoned with. The only reason her magic is out of control is because she didn't accept it. She's messy, she's chaotic, she's brutal. That's just who she is. She can't handle calm and controlled magic. She's supposed to fire dragons that look exactly like they do in this chapter. I think this chapter portrays that idea perfectly. Noelle looks like she's having trouble, like her magic is too strong. But in reality, this is how it feels most natural to her. She finds it easier to just let her magic loose so uncontrollably. The dragon looks aggressive and strong. Nothing reminds of the usual Noelle we know, and that's a good thing. That's who she really is. The chapter then shifts to Yuna vs Lucius, a battle that's been escalating in intensity. Lucius, a character who's been shrouded in mystery, finally reveals some of his thoughts. And they are much weaker than what we know from him. He's usually pretty cool and confident, but this chapter showed a completely new Lucius. A Lucius who was lured out by Yuna because of his insane strength. Remember that I told you a few chapters ago that Lucius is not in trouble as long as he doesn't make a strange face, that is, either anger or fear. But when he makes such a face, that's when he starts to lose or transform. For example, into the next stage of the paladin form. And now that moment has finally come. It will probably go like this. Yuna is stronger now. But then Lucius transforms and gains control. Then Asta shows up, so Yuna along with Asta are stronger again. But then Lucius pulls off his final transformation and then the final battle begins. Something like that. Anyway, Lucius is surprised by Yuna's strength. He's extremely fast. Even faster than Lucius, it's ridiculous. Honestly, the current strength Yuna has is probably the strongest we've seen in Black Clover so far. Which makes Yuna the strongest person in Black Clover at this point. But we don't know how strong Asta has become in the last three days of his Hino training, so we can't really include Asta. And let's be honest, we all know Asta will be stronger. And Lucius most likely has another transformation, so that has to be considered as well. Lucius is still confident and tries to steal Yuna's soul, but then Yuna finally activates his last wind god weapon, Spirit of Notice. And as I predicted, it is a shield. That was one of the two possibilities I mentioned. Lucy's reflections during this battle are very interesting. He's taken aback by the power of the Clover Kingdom's magic knights, especially Yuno and also Noel. His foresight, which has guided him through countless timelines, seems to be failing him. The world he envisioned where the rebellion didn't happen and Yuno grew up in the Spade Kingdom is vastly different from the reality he's facing. The Clover Kingdom is stronger than in any timeline he foresaw. To put it simply, for some reason the current timeline did not exist. Or Lucius could not see this timeline. This raises a fascinating question. What's causing these anomalies in Lucius' foresight? The answer seems to lie with Asta. Lucius suspects that Asta's existence is the anomaly that's causing the divergence from his foresight. This revelation is a game changer. It suggests that Asta, our beloved protagonist, might be from a different timeline or even a different world. 
but I will make a separate video about this idea because to understand every detail about such a complex topic as timelines, we really need an accurate translation. The exact choice of words is important, so subscribe if you don't want to miss this video and turn on the notification bell. Anyway, this theory fits the mysterious nature of Asta's anti-magic and his devil Liebe. Asta is out of place in so many ways. The more we find out about Asta, the more it looks like someone is manipulating events with Asta's help. Things like taking away his magic, matching him with Liebe by preparing the grimoire, hiding the swords, teleporting him to the land of the sun and all those things. With this new chapter, it might even be possible that this person also took Asta from another timeline and brought him to the current timeline. Where Lucius could notice, Asta has no magic, so even if Lucius were able to notice such changes, he can't in the case of Asta, he sees the wrong future, a timeline in which Asta has not intervened. So the reason why Asta doesn't have magic, or the reason why someone might have taken magic away from him, could be not only that Asta is supposed to use anti-magic, which you possibly can't do with magic, but also that he changes the timeline so that Lucius does notice. Of course, all these different ideas could also flow in the same direction. For example, Asta might really be a genetic defect. And someone might have been specifically looking for someone like Asta in different timelines. Maybe in the past and brought him into the future. And maybe this person did it with Liebe as well. The point is that Black Clover is really weird and doesn't make sense unless there's a person in the background manipulating the timelines. In this case, it is one of the best plots in existence. I can't say it enough, it can only be Astaroth who foresaw that Lucius would kill him one day so he started this extremely complex timeline manipulation. And since Lucius can see the past, he will never be able to figure it out. The chapter ends on a high note, with Yuna's attack hitting Lucius right in the chest. Yuna's determination is palpable as he declares, I will defeat whoever I'm up against. Looking ahead, it's clear that the battle against Lucius is far from over. Yuna's new power-up and his determination to defeat Lucius will undoubtedly play a crucial role in the upcoming chapters. If you think Lucius is defeated, don't be surprised, the next chapter will be madness. But the real question is, how will Asta's potential connection to a different timeline affect the course of the story? As mentioned, I will make a separate video. And that's it for our deep dive into Black Clover chapter 360. What do you think about this chapter and my theories and predictions? Do you agree with them or do you have your own theories? Let's get a discussion going in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this review, don't forget to hit that like button. It's a small action that goes a long way in supporting the channel. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you won't miss out on future Black Clover videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.